This couple adopted an Indian boy, but 25 years later they found out truth about his birth family. Saru Briley who, at the age of 5, was unintentionally cut off from his family finally found them after 25 years. Cheru Munshi Khan, his father, was a Muslim, while his mother belonged to the Rajput caste of Hindus. His father was a construction worker. After taking a second wife, Saru's father left the family when he was about three years old, plunging the family into destitution. Saru was dispatched by his mother with a bowl to ask neighbors for leftovers when he and his older brothers, Kudu and Kalu, started begging for food and cash at the neighborhood market and train station. Kudu occasionally worked odd jobs like scrubbing the floors of train cars and washing dishes in restaurants. Kudu was once detained for a few days despite the fact that the law was meant to safeguard children since he had sold toothbrush and paste kits on the platform of a train station. One evening, Kudu grudgingly permitted the five-year-old Saru to accompany him. As he announced his intention to take a train from Khandwa to the city of Burhanpur, which is located to the south. When the train arrived in Burhanpur, Saru was so exhausted that he passed out on a bench. Gudu told his younger brother to wait and that he would return soon. Saru soon lost patience when Gudu did not appear. In the station, he saw a train that was parked, and believing his brother was on board, he entered an unoccupied compartment. When someone unlocked the door to his carriage, Saru bolted. His rail voyage ultimately came to an end at the enormous Howrah railway station in Calcutta, now known as Kolkata. Saru was far away from his village at the time, but he was unaware of it. Unknown to Saru, Gudu was assassinated by an approaching train on the same night that he parted ways with his brother. Saru tried to get back home by catching various trains, but they turned out to be suburban trains, and each one ultimately brought him to the Howrah train station. He resided near and on the Howrah train station for one or two weeks. He eked out a living by sleeping under the train's seats and collecting food leftovers from the street. After some time, an orphanage received Saru. He was transferred to the Indian Society for Sponsorship and Adoption a few weeks later. The employees there made an effort to find his relatives. Saru was formally recognized as a missing child since he didn't know enough for them to locate his hometown. Sue and John Briley, a couple from Australia, later adopted him. Saru was reared by his adoptive parents and had a joyful childhood while growing up in Australia. Mantosh, a second Indian kid, was adopted by his Australian parents. Saru quickly lost contact with Hindi after learning English. He attended Canberra's Australian International Hotel School to study business and hospitality. However, as he got older, he became increasingly curious about his origins and began using Google Earth to search for his hometown. After many years of tireless searching, he finally recognized landmarks and was able to locate his birthplace. He meticulously followed railway lines that radiated out from Howrah train station while utilizing Google Earth's satellite photographs as an adult devoting over 9,855 hours over the course of three years to completing searches. Although he only knew that Burhanpur railway station's name started with the letter B, he relied on his hazy memory of the area's key landmarks. Although he couldn't recall that name, the town had recognizable elements, such a fountain next to the railroad tracks where he used to play. He was able to follow a streetway to what seemed to be the home that he and his family had previously occupied. Saru contacted a Condwa-based Facebook group after receiving a tip. He was convinced by the Facebook group that Condwa may be his hometown. Saru returned to India in 2012 to see his biological sister and mother, who were still residing in Condwa. He inquired as to if any locals were aware of any families who had lost a son 25 years prior. The heartwarming reunion was documented in the media and moved people all over the world. He also met up with his sister Shakila and his living brother Kalu, who are currently working as a factory manager and a teacher, respectively. Their mother had been able to pay for the other two to attend school due to the loss of Saru and Gudu. Saru is still residing in Hobart.
He is now able to interact with his Indian family on a daily basis thanks to a computer at one of Kalu's neighbor's houses. His mother no longer has to work because he gave her a house. A Long Way Home, written by Saru and published by Penguin Australia in 2013, details his experience as a lost five-year-old, his adoption by an Australian family, and his quest to find his Indian family. Also Lion, a 2016 biopic directed by Garth Davis and starring Dev Patel, Nicole Kidman, David Wenham, and Rooney Mara, had its world premiere to rousing acclaim and Oscar buzz at the Toronto International Film Festival. This tale is an example of the strength of willpower and the unshakable tie between a mother and her kid. It emphasizes the value of adoption and the effects it may have on the adoptive family as well as the kid. Many people have been motivated by Saru's quest, which has also shone light on the experiences of adopted people looking for their roots.